Hi, this is Brad with Copper Creek Cuts, a lawn care company in Northeast Florida. Over the past nine months, I've been taking my Ventrac compact tractor on quite a few adventures, pulling out shrubs, mowing tall grass, playing around in the mud. I've used the landscape rake to remove some rock. I've used the power bucket to move a down tree. And I really like the idea of a compact tractor in this footprint. So you'll imagine my interest when on a Facebook group, I saw these pictures. Turns out Bobcat is developing their own compact articulating and oscillating tractor. If you don't know what that means, articulating means that it turns from the middle. The machine actually pivots in the center and that's how it turns. That's opposed to like when you turn the steering wheel in your car, the wheels turn. And oscillating means that the front and back halves of the machine pivot independently of one another. So you can have like eight inches of difference from one tire to another and all the tires are still gonna stay on the ground. Should we be surprised that Bobcat is taking a stab at this product? No, this is what Bobcat does. When Bobcat announced they were getting into compact tractors, they had Coyote make those for them. I don't know if that's still the case. I know Bobcat's long-term goal was to produce and manufacture those tractors themselves, but to start, they handed that off to Coyote. And it's what they did with lawnmowers. You may remember the green Bobcat brand that I used to run that was bought by Bobcat. Yes, Bobcat bought Bobcat, if that's not confusing enough. Uh, and they rebranded all the mowers white, made some improvements to them, and that's how they got into the mower game. Doosan, who is the parent company of Bobcat, also bought Steiner. So now it looks like Bobcat is taking the Steiner brand, uh, the engineering from the folks at Steiner, and they are implementing that in a Bobcat version of an articulating and compact tractor. How do I know this? Well, there's quite a few signs, but here's some of them. If we zoom in real tight and take a look at this foot peg, you can see an S emblazoned on it. So I don't think the S stands for Bobcat, I think. <laughs> the S probably stands for Steiner, and we can confirm that by going on the online parts inventory warehouse, and uh, yes, we see that a Steiner 450 foot peg looks just like that. So no doubt Bobcat has been leveraging the fact that Doosan owns Steiner. They've probably brought folks over from Steiner to help make this uh, prototype. The information we have on it, it's very little. We only have these few pictures that a few dealers posted from a Bobcat dealer event that was held the beginning of this year, 2022. We haven't had any updates since then, and more telling, this product was not featured at the Equip Expo in October of 2022. So if this product were ready to launch, it probably would have been shown then. Now, the reason that's important is because the dealers who attended this event, or at least one of them, said on their social channels that this was a product that was going to be coming out later this year. Now, they may just be doing a very quiet launch of it or a, a very surprise launch, so maybe that's why they didn't want it at Equip Expo. But my guess is that if the dealers are telling people that it's going to be available late this year, that's probably what they were told by Bobcat at that dealer meeting. But the fact that we didn't see it at GIE Expo, it wasn't at Bauma, which is a, a big show in Europe that Bobcat went to and brought almost all of their new product development. It wasn't showcased there. That leads me to believe that either this is taking longer to develop than they thought, or they found some kinks that they want to work out. You know, who knows? It's just speculation at this point. But all we really know is that the dealer saw it early 2022. At least one dealer thought that it was going to be ready the end of this year, which if they thought that, they were probably told that by Bobcat. But we haven't seen anything that you would expect from a product that was releasing the end of this year, it being showcased at the Equip Expo or at Bauma, anything like that. So I really don't know what the status of this is. Again, it's one of those weird products that uh, we've known about it for, what, maybe nine, ten months, but there's only like six pictures of it on the internet. So if you know anything, please let me know in the comments. As we look at it, we see some more indications that this is leaning very heavily on Steiner technology. We can see the hydraulic weight distribution setup that Steiner uses. The controls look a bit different. I'm interested to see how these translate to real world movement of the machine. Of course, for forward and back, it does look like we have some foot pedals here, similar to Bobcat's compact tractors that'll probably control your direction of travel. 
I'm guessing the larger joystick will control the hitch arm raise and lowering. And it looks like there's some switches on there for some auxiliary functions as well. There's a secondary control lever that's probably going to be for your auxiliary or secondary hydraulics. It also looks like it has some Bobcat branded attachments. Are those true Bobcat attachments or are they just rebadged Steiners? We don't really know that. So again, at this point, what do we know? Not much aside from what these pictures tell us and that's not a lot. Here's some snippets of video where you can see it in the background of a presentation on some new mowers. It looks like it's in the exact configuration where people were taking pictures of it. In conclusion, I'm kind of excited about this. I think if Bobcat is going to uh, take their relationship with Steiner and use it to make their own version of the product. They're probably going to make it better than Steiner's. Bobcat also has such a huge presence in the industry that them adopting this oscillating articulating tractor, I think it says a lot about that product, about that category of tractor. I'm very excited to see how this product develops. Uh, if it develops, if it's not stalled, when we'll get some hands-on with it. So I think it'll be really neat to see this brand new product from Bobcat. And hopefully we won't have to wait too long. Uh, but even if we do, I'm still very much looking forward to new information on the Bobcat AT2025 articulating tractor.